Hi girls! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and today I thought why not just sit down here and film a get ready with me video for a girls night out. Definitely there's a lot of um, different styles to how you want to wear your makeup to your girls night out whether it's a dress up kind of day or dress down kind of day casual or just um, normal but I thought do a what I used to wear when I go out for night outs so let's get started so I'll prep my face with this mist by Innisfree it's a olive real oil mist so. and then I will go in with my lip balm apply with a q-tip because uh, I don't want to just use my fingers so I just rub so next I'll be using a primer I'm using a Makeup Forever what, is, what number is this? Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer it says uh, it can smooth the lines and the unevenness on the skin so I have a lot of uh, huge pores and I'd like to focus more on uh, this part of my face as we're done with that I will go on with foundation so the foundation I'm using today is this Makeup Forever HD foundation. This one is not the newest one where they have the new um, Ultra HD one because I haven't finished up this bottle so might as well finish it up first. But I really love it though uh, so I believe the Ultra HD one would be better but let's anticipate to that. And I will add the foundation with a drop of oil this um, essence oil by Herbalife Herbalife Herbaline Herbaline <laughs> Herbaline just like one drop Ugh. okay and then just mix it up mix it up it's just dot everywhere in your face Okay, and then I'll use this foundation brush to buff it in. So I have extra on my the back of my hand, so I just dot into places that I want some extra coverage okay tissue and just puff it in so I like to use this uh, play 101 Stick by Etude House uh, in collab with um, Pony. If you guys know, Pony is the guru, beauty guru of um, this you in YouTube, where she collab with Etude House to come up with this um, highlight and contour stick. So I'll be using this one in this uh, video. Yeah, it looks like that, and this is the highlight. And this part is the contour. Okay, so let's start with the contour. Alright, so I want to contour my nose and my um, cheek, my bulk, cheekbone. So I'll go with like one stroke. Oh, is it too dark for my skin? <laughs> Here, here, 
here and here gotta delete this part here <laughs> okay this is quite funny uh, okay so I'll use spike the foundation brush and just buff it in okay uh I don't know uh wow it looks quite natural isn't it Can you see my contour now? And let's see the part here. Uh, contour. Mmm. Nice. Initially, I worry it's gonna be like too dark for my skin, but it looks quite okay for me right now. Nice, 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 nice. It's very natural and you can actually see the contour, so it's very nice. Hmm. I wonder it's sold out. I thought it is just because the name is Pony, so it's sold out fast. I'll try to blend with my fingers and see. It's blendable. It's very easily blend. It's nice. Nice. Ah, I quite like this to stick. I quite like it, like how it turns out to be. Okay, so I'll go in with the highlight. My nose, of course. And the parts that I need to highlight, wow, a bit too white. And the parts I need to like highlight is here. Cool. Here. I don't know why I highlight here. Uh, my fringe is gonna cover anyways. But here, here. Okay. My brush. I realized that this highlighter is more to white metallic color compared to my MAC my MAC uh, highlighter the powder one the compact powder one is more of a goldenish brownish bronzish kind of look but this one is more of white probably Koreans are very fair obviously so they need like the white tone kind of highlight so I don't know I quite like it because from the mirror it kind of reflects a lot of light it's good set my face just use a fluffy brush Draw my brows. We'll just fill it in. So basically, what I did was um, to outline my the shape of my brow and then just stroke my way in. So I'm using this palette today, the Naked Tree palette. So I'll take this tapered brush and 
at the color limit this color right here and then I will go in and just fill in the entire eyelid until the crease which is around here and there's a tip where you always have a piece of tissue preferably the wet ones so you can wipe your um, brush and then I will go in with this strange color the lightest color to highlight my brow bone with a darker color um, Nooner this color Nooner and kind of just draw the crease out like that you can see yeah just like that and then I'll use my finger uh, my fingertip here, that's the ring finger and take the color liar this um, slight shimmer color and just dab it all over the eyelid I'll use a smaller brush a smaller tapered brush I'll take the color factory, this one, and then uh, line, my, line my lower lash line, like about a quarter away. Just like that. And then I'll slowly bring it to the front. Because what you want is a kind of sultry look but not too obvious on the entire lower lash line. So I will intensify the color at the back and blend it in front. Like bring it forward to the front to the tip of your eye. And again I love to tight line my eyes. So I will go ahead and tight line. It's always good to just look down into your mirror because uh, that way you won't be that uh, afraid because your people is focused in front instead of focusing straight where you're looking into that eyeliner poking your eye so that's not good so you look down and uh, kind of lift up your lid and make sure that the liner isn't poking your eye so so you wouldn't be so afraid to tight line draw a small wing in the end just to lift up my eyes a little bit alright so next uh, I will move on with blusher because I want to leave it dry first my eyeliner so blusher I will be using a pink colored blusher I will take this this rounded brush I will take this pink shade make sure you dab the excess off uh, what I'm doing here is to gently just swipe towards my temples oh, same goes to this part I'll curl it all right for 
for mascara, I will be using two, two types. Uh, the first one is to help my lashes to curl, to remain um, curly. This is uh, the L'Oreal Curl Fixing Volume Waterproof Mascara. So the first coat I'll be going in with this L'Oreal Paris Curl Impact Mascara. I'll just gently apply. Make sure that you apply on the roots because that's where you want uh, the most support. And then slowly swipe it up. That way your lashes will stay put all day. So I have my first coat on now. I will move on with the second one. The telescopic mascara. If you get like some mascara on your eyelid, don't you worry, uh, the Q-tip will solve the problem. So don't panic. And I always get that on my eyelid or any part of my face. So that's not a problem for me. <laughs> what a messy makeup I have. Okay, and then if you can see, it's quite long. Oh, I don't know. Focus. As you can see, it it is quite volumized and curled. And then use the Q-tip and just gently wipe the unwanted mascara off. Okay. So, um, usually I will be quite satisfied with my mascara now, but if I would like to go with a more dramatic look, I will go with the same mascara again for a second layer. After that, I will put some mascara on the lower lashes as well. Whoa, it's so bright. <laughs> Yeah, can you see the lashes? So yeah. So the lipstick that I chose for tonight's look is the uh, Shu Umura in two seven five. Yeah, this color is the matte. Matte. I don't know what color is this. It's a slightly brownish natural looking look I'll just dab it so this is the complete look and if you want your makeup to last longer you can also go in with another spray of this um, olive oil real oil mist you can also bring this out because it's very light and it's quite portable it's it has no gas in it it uh, it is purely water and a little of the oil okay so this is the complete look and this is how i'm gonna look like during a night out with my girls it's very simple and it's very fast if i'm doing this without recording without talking to you guys i can complete this makeup in like what 15 minutes so um, i hope you guys enjoy your time with your girls and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well if you like it please give me a thumbs up and um subscribe to my channel for more and that's all from me today i'll see you guys soon bye